refuge unabated from both sides. This Palestinian says she's ready to strap on an explosive device and fight. to, you know, what a lot of people see as almost state-orchestrated terrorism with over 700 deaths in Gaza? I don't feel even a bit of shame. I feel a lot of pride being part of this country. Uh, I was also in the Israeli army, the most moral army in the world, no doubt about that. Uh, the UN uh, Human Rights High Commissioner yesterday uh, from an independent stance says there seems to be prima facie evidence in terms of the slaughter of civilians that Israel has conducted a, a, a campaign involving war crimes. Look, the uh, UN uh, Human Rights Council could already change a long time ago its name to UN Terrorist Rights Council. They are protecting terrorists. What they are doing now is, is encouraging the Hamas to go on because they know that Israel is going to be condemned by, by this organization. Meanwhile, there's been criticism of the decision by Ireland to join other EU countries in abstaining from a UN vote on the conflict. The resolution before the UN Human Rights Council called for the setting up of an investigation into allegations of Israeli war crimes in Gaza. The Minister for Foreign Affairs, Charlie Flanagan, is on the line. Good morning. Good morning, Rachel. This abstention has stirred considerable anger, with Fianna Fáil's Avril Power describing it as utterly shameful. Why did Ireland abstain? Well, there were two issues involved here. Firstly, due to the urgency, um, we wanted uh, a more swift and direct response to using existing and current structures to the appalling situation and the upsurge of violence resulting from this conflict. So there was the time issue involved that we didn't think it was appropriate to allow for a new and further investigation.